I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 155. I love it when I can start the show out with something really cool. Today it's a new service called PhotoWoosh. When you upload a two-dimensional image, the PhotoWoosh system automatically creates a virtual 3D model of the image. It works with any outdoor image that includes ground and sky. Even though the website is live now, you'll have to wait a week or so before you can start uploading your images and getting them returned to you in 3D. Apple announced Final Cut Studio 2 and a new product called Final Cut Server at the NAB convention. This news is for a very limited audience, so I'll keep the deets to a minimum and put links in the show notes. I'm extremely excited about the Final Cut update because the new version of Compressor comes prepared for new media encoding. That hopefully means faster production for us. Final Cut Server is a new media asset management application that helps producers and artists organize and catalog media files. In the process of making a movie, a TV show, or a podcast, you create thousands of clips. A three-minute geek brief will sometimes have 20 clips, five or six photos, and three or four title files. So just imagine what goes into a longer, more complicated production. Final Cut Server is designed to replace the chaos with clarity. If you have a Wii or hope to get one before July, Nintendo is making a Wii browser created by Opera available for free until the end of June. It's fun to navigate the web with a Wiimote because of all the vibration. Here, let me show you. This is my verb page. Using the Wii browser is especially good for looking at photos. You have two options for navigation. One using the B button for fast navigation, scrolling, and the other using the up and down, left and right arrow keys. You can also zoom in and out using the plus and minus arrow keys. Whee! <laughs> Unless it's retro chic, we tend to skip over landline phones, but the Philips ID9371 isn't skip worthy at all. The phone has an answering machine, alarm clock, caller ID, and all the other standard stuff you'd expect, but it's the futuristic design that makes this phone briefable. Futuristic in my book is usually synonymous with dated. The ID9371 might turn out to be a classic. If someone is winning at any game in technology, Microsoft seems to want to compete. Adobe's Flash is the standard for video that everyone has truly embraced. Microsoft announced a competing standard called Silverlight. It works with Internet Explorer, Safari, and Firefox. Now, I'm not a big fan of Flash video because I think it's muddy, so I'm kind of rooting for Microsoft on this one because it gives producers the ability to stream HD video on a website. And one more thing, if you're the bling type, Nokia announced the availability of its 8800 Sirocco Gold mobile phone. It's the truly awesome 8800 form factor encased in questionably beautiful 18 karat gold. I wouldn't want to gold anything, but if you ever get the chance to slide open an 8800, do it. Do it. I'm Callie Lewis. I just bought another domain name from GoDaddy.com, but I'm not telling you what it is yet. My promo code is GB1. Thanks for watching. I didn't take a breath during that. Should I do it again? Another Pod Show video podcast. Stick it on your screen.